A is a little bit stressing. It's it's a little bit stressful. Um, and I know a lot of people will say, well, go ahead and take all the time you need. Um, I don't think I will in this case because that would just kind of kill my channel. Uh, because the YouTube algorithm would think that I have given up on my channel again. And I don't want that. I want the YouTube algorithm to continue sending me people and continue directing people to my channel. And I want the YouTube algorithm to realize that I am not just some uh, half-decent channel that is half-trying and putting in half the effort required. No, I am actually trying. I am putting in the effort required. I want YouTube to recognize that. I want YouTube algorithm to notice that because I want to have my channel uh, basically play with the big boys, you know? I want to have my channel sit here and go through uh, all of the different uh, tasks there are to do in Minecraft. I want to have my channel uh, get popular and have people uh, watching it and listening to my commentary about what happened in D&D. &D. Uh, you know, like, I can make these features, but I don't know if the people on my channel are actually enjoying this information or not. Um, you know, there's not really much to say on the matter of the D&D &D session because uh, the majority of the session just ended up not happening yesterday. Uh, there was a, uh, I believe there was a no call, no show, which uh, slowed the session down by quite a bit because it was the monk and I didn't really know how the monk would handle the situation. Uh, currently, the monk is dealing with the fact that uh, there is uh, there is a deception at play. Um, Jack Mist woke up the Kenku monk, and the uh, the monk looked around and asked, "Did we win?" And Jack Mist completely just lied and said, "Nope, we all died." We kept getting struck over and over by lightning. It was the weirdest thing. Um, and it's not entirely a lie, as Jack Miss did, in fact, get repeatedly struck by uh, a lightning uh, breath weapon. Um, there was uh, Miki, the Oozkin, uh, that is uh, one part sorcerer, or sorry, four parts sorcerer, one part bard. Uh, I keep wanting to say those backwards for some reason. I, for, for whatever reason, I want to say that they are four parts bard, but they are not. They are one part bard, four parts sorcerer. Um, which means they have four sorcery points. They have one level in bard. They have uh, subtle spell, meta magic, and I forget what the other meta magic they have is, but I could look it up. Um, I would like to be able to stream my content. Uh, I, I would like to be able to live stream my content specifically, but the problem is specifically that I don't have the processing power. Therefore, uh, you know, if my friend does end up giving me this laptop that he mentioned, uh, I would be able to provide a live stream for my lovely audience uh, in a 
relatively uh, mostly unedited environment. Um, there would be some editing required because of the graphic nature of the content, but it's not really anything too extreme. Um, there is, uh, you know, it, it is a, a bit of an obscene type of content at times, but uh, for the most part, it would be perfectly fine for the most part. <laughs> and even. Um, yeah, my friend Lillian uh, apparently plans to play Apex Legends tomorrow. Uh, by the time this airs, that will have been a few days ago. Uh, he's doing Twitch streaming at the moment. Therefore, uh, he's kind of just working with a different platform. Uh, Twitch doesn't quite handle live streaming the same way that YouTube does. Uh, I believe I pointed this out to him uh, and pointed out that YouTube kind of has a uh, a, a slight better return on investment uh, once you're established it really really favors you really nicely uh, on YouTube because uh, all of your old content will still be available therefore you can see all of the times where you were not as good as you normally would be and you can compare it to all the times where you were as good as you normally would be. And that allows you to basically see the evolution of your skills as well as the evolution of your channel. Um, it's kind of... It's difficult to get started, but once you're started, it's pretty easy. Uh, that's one of the benefits of YouTube, is once you're started on YouTube, it's really easy. It's just getting started. That's the problem. <laughs> that really is the most difficult step for most people, is just getting started on YouTube. Uh, there are a lot of different things that can uh, happen to a channel that will make them do better or worse on YouTube. Uh, you know, if I get mentioned, for example, by a very popular channel, then obviously I'm going to get a lot of people coming over to visit my channel, uh, for better or worse. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people say that there's no such thing as bad publicity. I disagree. There is plenty of things as, such as bad publicity. Um, you know, I, I don't like people just trash talking me for no reason. Uh, I find it in bad taste. Uh, 
uh, if I find, uh, you know, team members that are like that, where they just trash talk for no reason, it's like, yeah, um, we're not, we're not playing Halo anymore, okay? <laughs> treat your, treat your opponent with a little bit of decency. Because at the end of the day, there's still a person, you know. Um, but, you know, not everyone does that about their opponents. Um, that might just be me basically just uh, being my usual friendly civilian self. Uh, which is the type of self that I try to be, because that's the nice one, you know? I, I like being the nice version of me. I don't like being the mean version of me, because the mean version of me is mean. And you know what? That's, well, that's kind of mean. Um, you know, I, I try to stay positive. I try to... Uh, keep my uh, my mental outlook on life positive. I find it helps a lot. Um, you know, uh, I try to uh, you know I, I try to provide meaningful entertainment that allows people to uh, not just learn, but additionally uh, actually increase their skill set. Um, you know, I, I want people to get better just overall, not just in one specific skill, but I just want people to get better period, you know, um, like, I want them to be better humans, I want them to be, uh, less prone to accidents, I want them to be, uh, you know, I, I just want people to be better, and I try to make sure that I try to, uh, enjoy uh, what I can but sometimes I can't enjoy things because I'm too busy working on other things and that's fine but if that becomes a habit then that's kind of a problem like I really should focus on the things that are useful that I enjoy um I shouldn't focus on things that are not going to be useful. Uh, for example, uh, you know, if I find that, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my excavations aren't going to be very useful on my, uh, on my Minecraft world here, uh, I find some way to make them useful. I dig in a direction that I need to go. I uh, I specifically try to make sure that I dig at a height that provides the right type of material that I'm searching for. You know, I try to make sure that I excavate uh, large quantities of area, large swaths of area. Uh, in order to provide uh, ample uh, like ample coverage of areas where I am supposed to be digging in order to provide this proper coverage that I need. Uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that I am making proper use of all of the different uh, all of the different, uh, materials that are being offered to me. You know, I have, for example, granite, 
which is a you know a great material but it's paired with andesite and diorite and the fact that I have it paired like that allows me to very easily uh, meter out the amount of material that I am using in order to very easily uh, make that specific material last a lot longer. Therefore, I can build a bigger build with relatively less material because I am mixing it with the other materials of similar variety uh, in order to provide a bit of color to my build. You know, uh, a, a bit of a, a splash of red. Uh, you know, and then on top of that, I built a railroad on top of the uh, the red branch, uh, which technically I guess would make it a red railroad <laughs> or a reading railroad if you want to phrase it that way. Uh, there is a large quantity of uh, knowledge contained amongst my 360-ish episodes, I believe, or 300-ish episodes. I don't know specifically how many episodes it's been, but um, uh, if someone were to uh, count up how many hours I have played in Minecraft and comment the the sum total so far uh, as of this video um, I would definitely actually be curious to know how much that is uh, therefore if you're just wanting something to do and you have a bunch of free time on your hands uh, I would love it if someone would leave a comment telling me specifically how many hours I have actually uh, applied to this Minecraft save <laughs> here on camera. Uh, you know, I, I would I would like to know just how much time I have, uh, according to YouTube, spent on this world. Um, there is an easy way to do that. If you look at the video preview, it will tell you the amount of time that is, uh, that the video plays for. Uh, if you look at the playlist, you will find a list of all of the different videos. Um, this can be... A useful trick of combinations to very easily look up the time frame for all of these videos. Uh, if nobody does it, uh, I might eventually look up the time spent on all of these videos myself, and then I might post the comment down below and just pin my own comment. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely be curious to know how long I've spent playing this. I'm sure it's a really long time, like probably about 250 hours, I would estimate, maybe 275. Feels more like about 275, maybe 283, somewhere in that range. Uh definitely feels in the upper 200s. Doesn't quite feel like 300, but it, it does feel almost like almost 300 hours. This 
pretty much the last bit before uh, I go about with uh, before I go about with actually constructing the entire iron golem farm itself. Uh, once I do uh, get to the point where I have to construct the entire iron golem farm, I will probably need to repeatedly pause the video in order to look up various aspects of how to build an iron golem farm. Uh, I might, like, run out here with some signs and just tell myself what I need to build it by just watching the videos needed and then just writing it on a sign in the world. That way I don't have to constantly look it up. Um, I roughly remember the dimensions of it. Uh, I additionally remember that uh, I have... Uh, I have planned for a 22 by 22 farm. Uh, therefore, I might need to go about uh, organizing something to uh, fill in the gaps, as it were, because uh, a 22 by 22 farm is obviously larger than one chunk uh, on top of that uh, I kind of don't have the chunk border visualization texture pack active at the moment as you might have noticed uh, the reason that this is important is because that means that I don't currently know exactly where all of the chunk borders are I can count it out sure but uh, I won't know the exact location unless I either count it out or unless I uh, turn on the chunk border visualization pack. Uh, now, I do consider that as still being a vanilla mod as, uh, like, it, it's not really modding because it's a visual pack it's literally just texture um it's not even x-ray which would be a bit of an improvement honestly <laughs> um like there is plenty of things that could have been done that uh would be considered uh, a far more robust version of uh, of all of this stuff. Oh boy, this is a lot of stone. <laughs> I might have a little too much stone here. Yeah. That's a lot of stone. Jeez. Unbreaking two golden leggings. Let's see what these have. Blast protection four, and then just normal. Okay, well, I shall store them accordingly. Shame he didn't drop his helmet. It's kind of sad. But oh well. Definitely need to buy to deposit the gravel, which I now have no more space for because everything's all full. Boy, oh boy. Um, I actually need to go pee, so I shall save and quit for a moment.
because uh, I need to pause in order to go pee, and I might need to do more than that, so I shall pause. Okay. I believe I am doing all right. Uh, give me a moment. There we go. Had to adjust some alarms that were coming up. It was an alarm scheduled to go off in two minutes, and it's like, well, I don't need that alarm. I'm wide awake. <laughs> and already recording Minecraft videos, so I don't, I don't really need to be alerted that I need to start recording Minecraft videos because I'm already recording Minecraft videos. Yeah. Yeah, um, I believe I was talking about how my channel is greatly affected by uh, leaving a like on the video, uh, leaving a comment in the comment section down below, uh, subscribing to the channel. Uh, all of these effects lead to a cumulative effect which increases the number of people that my channel gets suggested to. As this number goes up, the number of people which will actually click on my channel and want to watch my content will additionally increase, which will get me more subscribers and more people liking the video. And it will definitely, definitely allow me to expand my channel further as you might not uh, want to give me money on Patreon. Uh, you might not have that option, or maybe you just don't want to. Either one doesn't really matter. But someone else might want to. Uh, they might be looking for someone to give a bunch of money to. Um, they would... Uh, they, they would definitely find that my channel is obviously, uh, is obviously, you know, decently advanced enough to possibly be a worthwhile investment. Uh, I do need to update my Patreon just a little bit. I need to include the specific tier for the naming. Um, I understand that the naming is going to be expensive, but this is going to be a creature that is uh, going to be around the base very frequently. Um, therefore, they're going to be around for many, 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 many months. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to see the, the creature name very often uh, because it's going to be something like a cat, for example, where, uh, you know, the, the cat is going to be bringing me gifts. And in order for me to collect these gifts, I will either need to set the cat down on a hopper or... I will need to set the cat down on a hopper minecart or just have it having its items get picked up somehow. Um, like the cat brings items. I have to go and collect these items at some point. Therefore, like, yeah, you can kind of connect the dots on the two there. Um, As I mentioned, I will probably need to go looking up all of the different uh, measurements for a iron farm. Uh, there will be plenty of room for error. I don't want to make any errors. Therefore, 
I think I want to just look this one up. Um, I know that it might not be the uh, the best rates. It might not be the latest version of Iron Farm. Um, I know that there was one where all of the villagers needed to be able to access their beds and their workstations. And it's like, well, that's a bit of a pain. And then, like, they still needed to communicate with each other at some point. And it was just kind of a pain in the backside because everything was basically just kind of not functioning properly um, between the issues with uh, with the villagers just not interacting with each other properly and the villagers uh, sometimes just not linking to their bed. It's like, what do you mean he's not linked to the bed? I mean, he's not linked to the bed. It's like, oh, God. Uh, you know, they, they had to fix a lot of things. Um, I'm going to grab these. Then I'm going to start building... Um, well, I'll tell you what, I will start by going, over here, oh, oops. start by going along here and this should tell me roughly the dimensions that I'm looking for This one. This will give us the basic outline. Uh, I do not remember the exact dimensions required. However, I do remember the 22 by 22 uh, 
flip right of the build. Uh, let's see. I want to deposit that, deposit that, and then I'm going to start withdrawing all of this material here. go traveling all the way back to base because the next thing I need is a bucket. I actually need water. Uh, therefore, once I have the water, I can properly measure out the entirety of the uh, iron golem farm, which basically means I'll be easily able to access uh, it, pretty much anywhere in the Iron Golem farm itself, which is going to be nice. Um. So yeah, first I need to make uh, room in my inventory. Uh, then I need to, I actually need to refill my supply of food as well. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? They have dirt. Right, I needed water buckets. Uh, for that, I need crafting table. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Thank you. 
as you can see, there is plenty of there is plenty of There's plenty of things happening that are of decent interest. Sources. Uh, that was not supposed to pop off. Uh, what we specifically want to do is we want to actually make use of some infinite water sources. <laughs> Because uh, we are trying to make it so that this entire section is appropriately aligned. Therefore, we are going to go ahead with checking out Get on the hot bar there. Okay. It is a decent. Uh, A decent little uh, setup here. Fun part, I get to find out just 
how far from the center does this actually go? This appears to be way too large for what it's supposed to be doing. Three, four, five, six. This appears to be six by six. I want it to be a four by four, which means I need to bring all of this in by one. Okay. That was what I was thinking thinking was about to happen was I would need to just bring it all in by one. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I will go ahead, clean up all of this water, which is actually much easier said than done, seeing as I have not uh, created any water sources other than the borders. Uh, I have not needed to worry about things such as uh, sorry, such as uh, fortifying my defenses at the moment. Hold on. Okay. Sleep in the bed. Now I can actually go fixing all of these walls because none of these walls are the correct distance. Um, they're actually supposed to be there. <laughs> and here. There we go. Oops. Forgot about the water. Okay, well. Whatever. Just get started on this side first, I guess. Okay, well, we've got quite the sizable chunk of area ahead of us. Okay. 
now I can start picking up all of this stuff. <laughs> guest uh, you know filling in all of this area is not going to happen at this height um, that would be kind of silly to try um, because a there is a very good reason why I'm not building everything at this height. And that reason is specifically that uh, the iron golems A. still need to actually perish. Uh, I could make use of a trident killer and apply looting. However, that would incredibly diminish the rates that I would be getting on the trades from the villagers because the villagers would not be very happy about me killing iron golems. Therefore, it is better to use something along the lines of lava. Uh, lava is very effective. Progress finally. should see this get a much more uh, much more tight knit uh, space for the monsters to all get flushed into. Ok. 
Come on. Right there. There we go. This is a very, very amazing I could shrink it by one more, make it 21 by 21. But the problem still arises from the same situation, that is, you know, how high up do I need to build it? What other kinds of factors are there, etc., etc. Um... once again go ahead with filling in this section because there's a lot of stuff going on materials to place and gather and all kinds of other things. 